hey guys welcome back to my channel i am janique renee also known as that brown girl that tailors and i know it's been a minute it's been a minute but i'm back and i kind of revamped the blog a little bit i'm going to be revamping the blog a little bit as you guys know i am a new york city designer men's tailor alterations all that good stuff um now i got my hands and a few things because i i do live in new york city and as you know you need more than one hustle out here to either pay the rent or get to where you need to go and get to where you need to get to in life okay so as you already know i am a men's tailor women's designer um also i do alterations but now i also ventured in um a business that I started which is traveling luxury tailor which means I pull up to hotel rooms for clients that are going to like the Met Gala or like some type of dinner or things like that somebody people that I pull up to video shoots that if they're doing a video shoot um if they are anything like that that's pretty much what I do now I get a call I bring all my tools my kit and I pull up and I also am a alteration specialist at um, SA Azinabor, which is like a black owned um, bridal company. So I do their alterations in the New York City location. And I am pretty much the sole person that does that. Um, so I am a part time employee and a part time business owner. I'm not even going to say part time business owner because honestly, I be doing business 24 7, even when days that I'm working there i come home and i got business to take care of for my own stuff so 24 7 business entrepreneur um running my own thing and i also am an employee for three times out of the week and it's kind of like fell into my lap because i was looking for some type some type of um part-time supplement supplemental income and um i kind of was like applying for that mad stuff and honestly wasn't even looking at the names or looking up the companies and yeah i know people would be like oh you gotta look up the company you gotta do your research on the company before you, you apply for the job and da, 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 da. no but in the field that i work at honestly people somewhat can give a fuck about what you know about the company and if you can actually do the job the field of my end that i'm in they only really care about um they only really care about what the, if you can do the job so most of the time they'll get you in there and they pretty talk they talk to you for a little while but then they sit you down and they be like okay sew this let me see if you can sew because you can say whatever you want to say and any other job fake it till you make it and then they'll train you on what to do but with tailoring alterations you can't fake it till you make it you got to know like the basics and know what to do and then if it's something else that they need to teach you later on they'll teach you later on so like i said i was just applying for stuff i didn't do the research on none of the companies and i kind of it kind of fell into the place you know what i'm saying so but i would say that god puts me in places um sometimes or like do having to do things that i really don't want to do because honestly i really just wanted to stay focused on my business but like i said i live in new york city and everything's going high and the economy is freaking crazy so when my when i have times that are slow in my business i gotta do what i gotta do to bring in the bucks you know what i'm saying I gotta bring in the bucks so yes yeah, so that's pretty much what i've been up to and my life has been like really crazy uh, my schedule is absolutely crazy sometimes i do something i can be just chilling and then all of a sudden i get a call and i'm freaking doing something for the vmas awards or some shit like that it's so it's so amazing so i said you know what i think people would be in, it like enjoy like enjoy seeing what i do because it's not too many people that do what i do so i said you know what let me you know get back to my vlog or whatever case is and start showing you bringing you guys along and showing you what what i do you know like the way that my life be working i'm like dang like i really feel like i need some cameras following me so i'm like you know what i'm gonna pull out my own camera and i'm gonna follow my own self <laughs> so yes so the upcoming videos is going to be me in the field don't mind the fact that my hair is gonna switch up because i filmed those videos and i actually filmed this intro already but for some reason i didn't realize that i wasn't recording until i went to go edit the video and realized there was no intro so i hope you guys um enjoy it and yeah i'm back 
what's up you guys today is one of those crazy days when i literally have no time to talk and i have to add a voice voiceover i'm actually working on a dress for a client that's coming in today for a fit-in um and the dress is not sewn up at yet as you can see so i had to sew it all up and then also have her come in within a couple of hours which was definitely accomplished um but in this time so within this time of working on this dress, I had to stop what I was doing and run to get my daughter because she was not feeling well. But luckily, the dress didn't have to be completely done. It just needed to be done so it can put on her body. And I'm going to insert a clip on how it came out because it came out absolutely bomb. She actually did her own hair. So definitely make sure you follow her. She is so cute and so dope. So as I explained, my day can be very unpredictable. So I get home and I'm laying in bed and I'm thinking I'm about to have a quiet weekend. Not the case. So I get a text message from one of my repeat customers telling me they need me to pull up the next day because they need a suit tailored by that night because they're flying out the next morning. This is how I pull up. He would be like, oh, what is that? Is that a drawer? No, it's a custom made tailoring stand. I'll give you guys a better look at it up close and personal another time. But yeah, this is how it looks. See my sewing machine in there? my bag of tricks yeah yeah i'll run down all of the things that i have in there So I wound up having to bring the suit back to my um, shop because it was a lot of details that needed to be done. Um, <clears throat> usually, if I pull up and I do on-site tailoring, if it's minor alterations, um, I'll just whip out my sewing machine and do it right then and there. But this was going to take a couple of hours. So I decided to take it back with me and complete it. As you can see, I had to taper these pants so much because it was huge on him. And the jacket was also big as well. But the end result is absolutely amazing. <sighs> After a long day coming from dropping off these alterations for my client, I hit traffic. It's about 11.08 and my day is officially complete and i feel like i accomplished so much on such short notice that suit i did was absolutely tailored to perfection when i tell you tailored to perfection tailored to perfection okay it was actually big for him but now you can't even tell it fits him like a motherfucking glove good morning y'all when you're so tired and you're like, you really don't want to go out the house and you've been dragging yourself just to get out the house because you've been ripping and running all damn week and all you want to do is do nothing, but you got shit to do. That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> it is Saturday and of course it's raining in New York City. I don't know what the heck is going on, but... It's been raining for the last couple of weekends in uh, New York City. I guess Mother Nature's like, stay our asses in the house. We had enough of y'all polluting out, motherfucking um, earth. But it's time for me to get up and get the day started and get some things done. I really have to go to my place, my studio, and um, straighten up get some things or in order um and yeah let's see where the day takes me currently in her world today is sunday saturday was a little relaxed i didn't really do much but today is her day so we're at this place called pico that she loves so much but bunch of bounty slides and fake food and market and all of that good stuff I had to play with. See? Yeah, you wanna see? See? <laughs> Go say hi to the um to the viewers. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we are gonna be a little while longer and then it's gonna be off to home to take her hair out and give her a bath because it is 
her birthday. Mommy's so birthday. Let me see. Let me see. Pull it back. I gotta see. Oh, look how beautiful. It's yummy. Can I have some? No, it's for the boys. You gonna eat it up? Okay, fine. I'm also gonna go home and do my hair. Her hair can wait until about Wednesday, but I am gonna take her braids out. Um, but my hair is definitely gonna be done tonight because since her birthday is Friday, I want to make sure it's nice and fresh for her little birthday adventure. So I'm gonna let her play here for a little while longer, and then it's off home. We go, and there she goes. She's off. <laughs> happy monday everybody everybody happy monday so today is monday and usually mondays i work at my job um as a uh, alteration specialist at um essays in a board so right now I am sitting in my car, parked, um, alternate side parking in, in, in New York City is a B-I-T-C-H. So um, the sign says that I can't park here on Mondays and Thursdays um, until after 10. And it's 9.24, so I just want to time it right. Uh, hopefully within the 30 minutes that I get out the car, and get on the train and head to work um that they do not um give me a ticket because it's gonna be a bitch trying to find parking at this time and the parking lot that i usually park at is always full at this time so i'm gonna take a chance wish me luck wish me luck i have ashanti's assistant coming to pick up some alterations i had to do it's in that bag um so hopefully i make it in time for him to meet me there as well so um i got my starbucks and um yeah i made me some breakfast this morning which i'm about to tear up once i get to work um yeah so that's how uh, my monday morning is going and i'll catch up with you guys when i get to my job and by the way it's only so much i'm gonna be able to show you there because for privacy purposes and all of that good stuff for the company it's only gonna be so much i'm gonna be able to show you there but i can explain a little much what i do if you like okay all right talk to you guys soon so i just got off the train i am walking to work okay so i do want to go back to working for myself 100 percent, which i was doing um but until then you know you gotta you gotta hit things with a little pivot a pivot it might not be a forever pivot but it's a pivot that i'm learning a lot in um things that i i do things at this job that i knew already things at this job that i just learned and honestly i had a, so many hang-ups of going back to work because i felt like I was failing myself low key, but I knew once I was in it that God put me here for a reason, and I don't really know what that reason is so yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. But I know one of the reasons is me learning so much about bridal, and first, at first I used to look at bridal like, oh my God, this shit looks so hard. Now mind you. I'm tired of shit. Walking up this block. Now, mind you, I make dresses from scratch. I have made a wedding dress before. But, well, a couple wedding dresses before. But, you know, her work is so detailed. So, like a lot of beaded and things like that. That I kind of thought that it would possibly be out of my reach. But, God put me in this situation to learn and I have been learning for the past couple of months now. And it's definitely eye-opening. So, that's pretty much what I do, what I'm doing now. And 
on top of me still designing dresses um on top of me still being a traveling luxury tailor yeah so i got my hands in so many different pots at this point and i also have this suit in shop that wants to hire me to do some alterations for them too so i'm just trying to get money wherever i can get money from stack it up from the field that i'm in because i'm not gonna lie to you years ago i used to work in retail you know the regular retail selling clothes dealing with customers and then i used to tap tap back in to me um making dresses and stuff but it was like a mental thing like i always had to tap out and tap back in whereas what i'm doing now even though i'm working for somebody else at some times or i'm pulling up doing tailoring and things like that i'm still in the same field whatever i'm learning or whatever i'm doing i could i could put it towards my own business um you know so as you can see i'm pulling up look at this she is so talented y'all she is so talented what a blessing to be on her team all right i'm about to get in here and check back in first one here today i didn't get to turn on the lights because i'm still early and i don't want anybody knocking on the door but this is a bird's eye view of some of the dresses beautiful right and this is her ready to wear up here amazing i just love her just to give you an idea most of the time when i'm working on a lot of these gowns with beading and stuff um i have to hand sew it because it's excuse me I, I'm, I'm missing a nail <laughs> but i have to hand sew it because um of the beading and things like that so a lot of the alterations have to be done by hand and not by machine so most of the time i'm literally hand sewing i got all of the there going pricks in my finger to prove it it's it's a lot but i love it because it's very therapeutic to me and I get to sit here so and watch my show okay back to work I go here's another another up close and personal look of the dress as you can see all of these appliques and beading the dress is so delicate that I cannot put this on a machine so hand sewing is literally the only option but it's so beautiful right Good morning. I am in the car once again, waiting for 10 o'clock so I can park and head to work. And I decided to sit in the car and eat my breakfast that I made this morning. Instead of letting it get colder and waiting to get, waiting to get to, um, to work so today I have a couple of things that I need to finish that I didn't finish yesterday and one more day and it's time for me to tap back in but tap back into boss life but I actually, this week is gonna look a little different to me because my daughter's birthday is on Thursday. So, last week, well, last Thursday, if you remember, she got sick and I had to pick her up from school. And also, I had a change of plans on, I think it was Friday actually. She got sick on Thursday, but then Friday, I had to go do alterations for Natari and her husband. So I was unable to go to the dealership. So I will be going to the dealership um, Thursday morning. Um, and then also getting a couple of things that I need to get for her for her birthday. So, so I'll show you once I get to work what I I'm working on today 
honestly, I'm hoping I get to leave a little early because I got things to do. And I feel like I have little to no time sometimes. Like every single part of my day, every hour is accounted for. But I do notice that waking up early and I ain't talking about five o'clock. I ain't, I ain't doing that. But I do notice that when I wake up around like 6 30, 6 15, I actually get a head start and I get a lot done. Today, I was, we woke up so late. I wanted to wake it up at 7.20. But I still had time to make me some breakfast. Because sister is trying to save money. Because I'm trying to get this place. So I'm looking to move soon. And I want to get a place. With a little more space for Riley. And yeah so I'm trying to save my money and not spend it on things that make no sense when I have food in the house especially food I tend to spend up a lot of my money on food so we gonna avoid spending money on food because we got food at home okay so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today um, it's 9.13. I'm going to see if I could do the same thing I did yesterday. Which is get out of my car around like 9.30. And see if I'm able to not get a ticket before 10. Definitely work yesterday. I pray to God that the parking guy is on my side again today. And maybe they on the the, the meter made people are on a different block or something or way that way they're not worried about this side because I don't know thing <laughs> my bad y'all that's another thing I'm trying to save money on parking too I found the cheapest parking around here and I think everybody else is hip on it because when I go there it made no room for me so, I said, I'm going to find parking on the street. So, I'm going to eat the rest of this breakfast, chill out, and zen. And then, hop on a train. See you guys in a few. So, I am at, currently at work now. And, um, about to work on this dress, do some alterations on this dress, and it's it's gonna be a headache. I already see it. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm working on and what I have to do alterations on today. But I'm gonna get it done because I believe in myself. <laughs> All right, let me show you what I'm work, gonna work on today. All right, so I have to take this in at the back on this side yeah so this is what I'm working on this is the most work that the dress is gonna have to get done to um, and I'm gonna have to pick up these take it in and then replace them back down and hand sew them back down so that's gonna be fun um, yeah so let me get to it all right first of all ignore my nail I still didn't get to put it back on yet but this is the pen I like to do alterations on, on um, white fabrics. Um, this is the brand. And as you can see the marks here. And what I like about this pen is that once you hit it with heat, it will literally disappear. So this is like, I'm 100% I'm positive that these wasn't made for that. They're like regular gel erasable pens. Um, if you're going to use it, I suggest you try it out on whatever fabric you use it on first before you start marking up your whole thing. Because you're not going to be in my comments talking about, you told me I can use it. Which I do on everything. But I double check it on fabrics first. Especially if I never use it on a certain fabric. Um, yet. So, yeah. Back to work. 
so this is the finished product as you can see the back is all taken in look how clean that looks you can't even tell where i took it in at that's the crazy part good morning y'all it is wednesday and i'm actually supposed to be at my job but i realized i had some work that needed to be done so i decided to take the day um obviously with their permission because it's kind of slow right now anyway um so i was able to come here and get some work done so i tapped into let's just say i tapped into my boss life early this week which i'm always excited to do so right now i'm going to work it on this suit for a uh, customer it's a green suit it's going to be so dope i'm about to work on a pattern right now and yeah it should be fun it will be fun um i do want to say one thing the fact um that if i have things going on they understand and um, if I have things going on in my business, um, and obviously it's not going to uh, affect what they have going on. Um, they're so understanding to the point that they'll be like, yeah, no worries. Like we don't have any fitness today or your work is completed or some work that needs to be completed can be completed like the next day or at a later time. They are so understanding. So what I want to say is go and work where you are appreciated because there's too many of us working at jobs that don't give a about us and we bust our behind make them millions of dollars and they can care less what we got going on in our uh, regular lives and they forget that they have a regular life that they have to tend to as well so i really am um appreciative to the place that i work at and to the opportunity that they give me and on that note i got a i got some great news yesterday um the owner essay um yesterday called us up and invited us to invited us to texas so she's gonna fly us out to texas in december for the christmas party i'm so excited ah! i am gonna lie it's the first time a job is flying me out or is it no 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 i had a customer fly me out too before but no yeah, so I am super excited for that because I've never been to Texas before, but I will document it and it will be on a vlog. So definitely stay tuned for that. So it is about 9.35. As you can see, I got my coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, but I feel like I'm going to need more coffee. Could you try again? Not talking to you, Siri. I feel like I'm going to need some more. So obviously I got my Nespresso right here, my baby. Um, so I will be making me some coffee probably, you know, to refill this within the next couple of minutes or hour or so. But in the meantime, let me get work on this pattern. It was such a productive day. I was able to make the pattern and cut it out in the fabric. All I have left to do is sew it up. I am back guys. And guess what? Guess what? Today I'm finally able to go to the dealership to drop off my car to get my backup camera fixed and i'm so excited because honestly it's been a long time coming i have put off put this off for a long time every time i'm trying to go something comes up but today i'm actually able to go so i'm happy about that and i mean after that I got to run back to my shop and get some, finish that suit that I was working on, that um, I told you guys I was working on, finish that, and um, I got some errands to run for tomorrow, because tomorrow is Riley's birthday, um, so yeah, should be a productive day, and I have to do my hair, as you can see, I still haven't, wasn't able to do my hair, to do my hair, I have to do her hair, yeah so definitely got some things to do guys it's currently 908 right now i got my mcdonald's so i'm gonna sit in there on my ipad plan out the rest of my week and next week because honestly i've been really bad at writing things down and i've been forgetting things and i know for a fact that's my formula to um 
to really accomplishing things and getting things done. You know that meme that they say, oh, if you ain't got no, I, I know why people get, they like together because they got an iPad. They got an iPad. I swear, ever since I've been um, writing everything down in my iPad, um, like in my, my, my mobile, whatever it's called, digital, um, digital calendar ever since I, every time I do that I swear I get so many things accomplished and so many things done so I haven't done it within the last couple of days or weeks because I've just been hectic busy and had a lot going on and I noticed that I skip I miss a lot of things that I supposed to have done because I forget to do it so going back to the basics and I'm going to be putting my everything I need to do inside of my um planner up oh, here comes the guy from my car as you guys can see, I'm at the dealership, and they look packed up in here. I don't know if I'm going to get out here on time. Pray for me. Pray for me. Okay. This is my outfit. The coming uh, So I look cozy, cozy. Waiting on my car to be done. All right, so I'm back in my car. Exactly an hour and 30 minutes. They finished. Um, fixing my backup camera and I'm excited now I'm off to my shop to finish this um, suit I'm still making good timing I'm just gonna have to sell my ass off at this, at this point like because I really want to be out of there at a decent time because I still have things to do I also have to pick Riley up um, one more present and a pair of sneakers um, yeah so let's see Definitely set out and accomplished exactly what I wanted to accomplish, which was to finish this suit. Um, it was completely done, and all I had to do was wait for him to come by on Saturday, which is in a couple of days, and I won't be back in my office until then. So I'll probably show you guys how it came out in the next vlog if he got good pictures. Let's cross our fingers because it was such a nice suit. Finally doing my hair. And this is the reason why you don't wait too long to do it. Get all the hair covered up. So, I did the birthday girl's hair. I was up late. She was up late, but she's not going to school tomorrow, so that's fine. Her hair is done. It looks absolutely so cute. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna finish this hair of mine the rest of the night. And then I'm gonna go to sleep and get ready for her festivities in the morning time. Um, I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. So I will see you guys next time on the next episode. Hope they have better camera angles and um mounts by then all right thank you guys for watching toodles and see you guys next time